Hi Cancer, welcome to this reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs, though you might find it resonates more if Cancer is your Moon or Rising Sign. Um, okay, so Two of Wands, Knight of Wands reversed. The Sagittarius could be relevant. Um, we have the King of Swords reversed and we have the Ace of Cups. Okay, Ace of Pentacles reversed, Four of Pentacles reversed, Eight of Pentacles reversed, gosh lots of reversals, ah and Temperance, Sagittarius again. Okay, yeah, Knight of Pentacles reversed, so Taurus energy there but no movement here and I can see that. Um, with the cards that we have and I think the reason for the lack of movement towards you um, even though this person's definitely interested in making an offer here well with you know not just an emotional one but a practical one that can be grounded and grown between you as well uh, so the reason they haven't taken this action is because of some kind of decision uh, that they have to make and they're not making it with this card being reversed um, this is someone who maybe you've had some interaction with, they may have taken some sort of action towards you, you may, may have had some fun with them, some good times, um, but it didn't sort of ground into something more long term or serious. Um, like maybe you even just, I don't know if you went on some, a couple of dates or if you had fun as friends with them or you were around them in a social setting. Um, and I think, again, the reason it didn't ground is because of this decision. So let's see. I will say, even though this is someone who's trying to be balanced, take it slow, consider all options, they still want you, they might be watching you from afar, trying to give you signs, I'm hearing something about music, I don't know if they post music to some social media platform or something and they hope you pick up that the song is meant for you or something like that, but um, it's like they're suffering in silence here, trying to still extend to you in some way, whatever that way is, but it's, it's a covert, indirect way. Two of Wands, please. Yeah, two of pentacles, so 22 could be a relevant number. Who else had twos? I think it might have been Taurus, I want to say, possibly. Uh, we do have that energy here as well. Um, yes, juggling something, needing to make some sort of decision. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Are you kidding? More Sagittarius energy here. So I wonder if Sagittarius season is relevant as well or has been in the past. Um, so that would be towards the end of the year. Wheel of Fortune reversed. They've got to make a decision. That It, it seems very clear. They, they need to choose A or B, left or right, one or two, you know? Um, that made me think of the opticians, you know, when they hold the lenses, uh, you know, is it clearer with one or two? So <laughs> maybe um, something about eyesight or the opticians is a message for someone or a confirmation. Um, yeah, it, this cannot move forward until they make a choice. Why aren't they making this choice? Why are they finding it so difficult, please? Eight of Wands reversed. High Priestess reverse. Well, they're not connected to their intuition. That's the first thing. Pisces energy here. Ace of Wands reversed. Hmm. Page of Wands reversed. To be honest, it's a very obvious decision. They know exactly what feels the best, but they're not listening to it. So I wonder if what feels good seems completely illogical or like it's not practical or it, it comes with lots and lots of consequences. So obviously we know they want to make this offer to you. I wonder what consequence that has in their mind or what they would need to change about their life, their situation or themselves to be able to make this offer. It must feel like it's quite a big thing because the desire, the passion is so strong towards you and yet the whatever's on the other side of the scales, you know, is tipping the balance towards stasis, stagnation. So I suppose it's fear-based, probably. Ah, Justice, just talking about the scales. So we've got Libra energy. I wonder if um, this is someone who has a strong sense of obligation, of what's right, of what's wrong, and it's their own morals that are saying you cannot extend towards cancer at this time. The Hanged Man, more Pisces there. So Hanged Man reversed, Three of Cups reversed. And yet I feel they have taken some action towards you in the past, whether, as I said, it's been 
just as friends but you know there's something more maybe they've been heavily flirtatious or you have had a couple of dates and they've pulled back or something there has been some action but they've pulled back and they're saying i can't do that again right now or i can't take it beyond that right now justice is a very serious card um whether we're talking about karmic justice justice in terms of the law maybe something to do with a contract they don't want to breach um but you know it, it's almost like if the consequences were any less serious than I feel they might be, I would take this action towards you because it's actually very upsetting and painful for me that I can't. And I'm still trying to let you know subtly that um, I'm interested, I'm looking at you, I'm looking in your direction. Let's see, what signs can Cancer look out for, please, that this person is interested, is trying to get messages to them? Oof, the Empress, wow, Taurus Libra energy there. Um, you might just feel amazing around this person, like you might know that they see you as, as being absolutely incredible. Um, like maybe, okay, so maybe you feel that their eyes are always on you if you're in the phys same physical space as this person or the way that they look at you is very telling. Um, maybe they give you gifts, maybe they're always complimenting you. Uh, maybe they've said things to you in the past like, Oh, you're the most stunning person I've ever seen. Beautiful, handsome. You're the most intelligent person. You're, you're so funny. Or um, I've never felt this relaxed around anyone before. Or whatever it is, you know? So it's something that feels quite obvious to you. Um, if, if Again, going back to the message around music, maybe they put up a song and you've actually spoken about it before, so it's very obvious. Or the song, uh, the title of the song is your name or something. Ten of Wands reverse, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so I think they've definitely done something in the past. You know, it's almost like they let their guard down, they did something that was so obvious, and then they pulled back. Let's get some messages from them. Oh, look at this. This makes so much sense. I'm trying to take responsibility for my actions right now. Please know this. So I think this person holds themselves, I'm hearing to an impossible standard. So very, very high. I think they might actually be getting in their own way. So it's not just about being fair, honest, respectful of people and all of that. It's almost like they're going too far. So for example, if they make a commitment to something or someone and it starts, you know, turns on them and starts to become very detrimental, instead of saying, okay, I'm going to exit this situation, but in an appropriate, balanced, honest, fair way, they just tell themselves, I've made a commitment, I have to see it through, like it's too much. Maybe they're even becoming a bit of a martyr. You still take my breath away. Do you see what I mean? And it says still. So there's been something in the past where you, I think you know you've taken their breath away in one way or another. You feel like home to me, yeah. I miss you regardless of how things seem. And that's, you know, it might seem like they're fine, they're being patient, they're very calm, but these um, water drops always make me think of, you know, that this bird is crying, but silently and silently reaching out. So I do miss you, everything is not okay. You are never far from my mind. Yeah, I think about you, I perhaps even watch you, but, I stop myself saying anything. Yeah, there are still so many unsaid things between us. I just want you to be happy. Whoa. Okay, put those back. Um, your intensity frightens and allures me all at the same time. You are an angel, my goodness. And that's in the same line as uh, the Empress card. Wow. I feel for some of you, this person's actually said some of these things. Like maybe they've said, gosh, you're so intense. And they said it smile while they've been smiling or something. Or, um, I don't know. I do think they may have said something about feeling really comfortable with you, very relaxed. Okay, guidance and advice, please, for cancer. 
prosperity, your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. And we have breathe, take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. Okay, so that feels like something perhaps outside of this connection and this is the green light, you know, go ahead, put in that time, that effort to manifest this, to take the action you're inspired to take. Um, it's, you know, it's time to bring in a new uh, cycle, a new pattern here, more abundance, whether that's material, emotional, you know, whatever it is. Wow, for some reason I'm very drawn to her hair, um, which I never really am specifically so i don't know if, if um there's something about wanting to grow stronger healthier hair grow it longer um just something maybe about health vitality that you know that kind of abundance and abundance of energy that sort of thing okay so yeah let's do the yes no maybe cards so don't let these um you know, don't, don't take them so seriously that it devastates you if you don't get the answer that you want. It's just a bit of like uh, something extra at the end. So if you have a question, we'll dive straight in. If not, please feel free to pause, think about your question, set the intention, but I'm gonna label these as card one, two, and three. Okay, so let's have a look. So in position one, we have a yes. Position two is a no. So position three is a maybe slash undecided. So it could go either way. Okay, so um, I'm going to leave this here. Thank you so much, Cancer. Take care and good luck with your manifesting. Bye.